This episode of Good Times with Mo, the podcast, is brought to you by Globe. It's not bragging if you back it up, right? In that case, welcome to the baddest show in the land. You guys have so much sexual tension. Where every question is answered. Um, why is the moon following me? And every challenge is met. I will survive 40. Three seasons of Good Times with Mo, and it's going as strong as ever. Color of the Night is the girl that's banging her best friend's husband. This is the top downloaded podcast in Philippine history. And it's not even close. Other shows will copy its style, will mimic its setup, but no one brings it like this. What's your favorite sexual position? 88, I ate you, you ate me. <laughs> Join us as we launch another season, another year. We don't just invite the hard questions, we dare you to come up with one. Boy, this guy's really weird. From Los Angeles and Manila. Two studios, guest co-hosts, celebrity appearances, and just a whole lot of loving going on. It's the world's famous Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season three. And your host, the Philippine genius, Mo Twister. Welcome to the podcast. On this Monday night, it is the 10th of March. Good times with Mo the Podcast. Brought to you by Globe. We are in Season 3. Phone number, if you want to call us, I suggest you write it down. Or whatever. 478-7954. Skype is the Good Times Podcast. You can even text us at 0927-214-1981. Just myself and you guys tonight. Bianca is supposed to be on the program, but uh, she is caught up at an event. She will either be incredibly late or just full-on absent tonight, but she will be here tomorrow. So, me, you guys, your love problems, life problems, sex questions, whatever it may be. Hey, tonight, also giving away a pair of uh, Mosh Pit tickets to the Ryan, sorry, the Macklemore and Ryan Lewis concert, which is happening next week. I think it's happening on Sunday uh, in uh, Mall of Asia. So, you can win those tickets here tonight on the program. I will choose the caller of the night. All right, kids, you ready? Staff, everybody ready? Pico, mm-hmm. check. Yep. Everybody check. Check, check. Yep. Check, check. So I hear... Check, check. Oh, listen, I hear uh, Ange here has what? not had a taste of the Islama balls in what? a while. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, and it's, it's, prior it's, to the show, uh, Pussy it's, Sad it's, yeah, it's dry like and, a uh, is looking yeah. to be wrecked. What? Mm-hmm. Wrecked. No. Yeah, yeah. Soon. Yes. Soon. When's the last time you had sex with him, Ange? Not answering that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Good job. Ready to go? I'm ready. Yep. Let's do it. Let's go. Uh, who do we get? How do we have first? Oh, let's go to line six and talk to Jao. Jao, you are uh, 18 years old in Las Piñas. What's up, buddy? Jao. Jao, hello. No, Hang up on him and call him back. Let's go to line. Uh, let's go to line five and talk to Russell. Hey, Russell. Good evening. Hey, what's going what's on? Up? Yeah, good evening. What's up, man? Good evening. Um, Good evening. I'm fine. <laughs> what What's your question? You? I'm. F- <laughs> what are you trying to hit on me? I'm fine, <laughs> thank you. All right. Hey, What's your my question? First time. Yeah. No worries. No worries. I'm kind of nervous. I know you are, but don't worry. Relax, yeah, man. Yeah. You're 17 years old. Oh, you're yeah, from yeah. Mandaluyong. You got a problem about a girl. Yeah. What I've do you been got? catfished. Yeah. Well, welcome to the yeah, fucking real world. That's sucks. that's the, that, that's what you get when you fucking hornballs are uh, trying to hook up with chicks <laughs> that you have Horn no balls. idea who they are. You uh, fucking meet them yeah. on the internet or via text message. Yeah. You actually think that there's a female there who's super hot who's like who <laughs> wants to hang out with you. Uh, well, t- tell me the details, and I'll uh, and I'll try to give you a frame of mind for all of you guys who are constantly getting catfished. I'll tell you what kind of mindset you have to be in to minimize okay. this. But but tell me first what the fuck happened to you. Um, I I met her at the BBM Blackberry Messenger. Yeah. Yeah, and then we 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 talk. Yeah, we get we get friends, and we tell about something about each other. Sure. Yeah. And then we talk for months. It's it's a long time. But um, suddenly one day, she stopped talking to me. And then? Yeah. Then I, I I remember she told me her her school where she studies. 
Then I have a friend there at the LSU, Lasal. Sure. And uh, I asked I asked my friend to help me find her. Then and then I tell her her name. Oh, boy, you suck at telling stories. I can't believe you yeah. lasted a couple of months. Just, just <laughs> continue. And then you told your fucking sorry, friend sorry. to go to the school and look at her, look for her, and then what? Then we found out that I uh, know. She's not on the list of students. Okay, and then? And then, yeah. That's when I realized that I've been catfished. You don't think that you were getting catfished the entire time when you've been talking to her for months um, and she's never sent you a... She's never met up with you? Has she sent any photos know, of herself? <laughs> well, you're 17. What are you going to do? Yeah. What the fuck? This happens to all these, a lot of uh, people. Oh, okay, oh. here's the mindset that I want you guys to be in. Okay. Is this uh, maybe the, the first piece of advice is why the fuck is this girl talking to me? Like that's yeah. always that always has to kind of hit your hit you at some point when, when when someone sends you a message, a random message, and goes, "Hey, what's up? How are you? My name is this. Can we be friends?" Oh, yeah, yeah. The first thing yeah. that fucking should come up in your mind is why the fuck are you talking to me? <laughs> What did what did I do? Where did you get my number? How why why choose me of all people? Because it, it's a legitimate question. Because why would they? Like, why would I choose you? Why would anyone just randomly choose me? I mean, it it it, it just makes so much sense. When you don't have an answer for that. The chances of you being catfished are fucking high. Secondly, yeah. when they don't want to fucking meet up or maybe uh, video chat or anything like that, yeah. you're, you're being catfished. Easily. Everybody knows this. You can't go months and months and months without talking to someone face to face or at least fucking Skyping with them. Right. Then it's bullshit right, right away. Yeah, bullshit. <laughs> yeah. Why the I mean, fuck did I think about that? Because you're, because, yeah. because. <laughs> because you don't have chicks and you're 17? So stupid. Yeah. Yes. Now, did you so get your heart broken? Okay. No, not really. <laughs> All right. Well, then, fuck it. It's not a big deal then, right? Yeah. In the next, meantime, uh, no, it's okay to meet people on the internet. I get it. Oh, yeah. But so, when you get mysterious messages out of the blue that people want to be your fucking friend, the first thing you have to always ask yourself, why the fuck me? What did I do? Yeah, why like, me? Why? Yeah, why are you calling me? Not why are you calling me in a bad way, but why would you want to talk to me? Yeah. Like, what do I have that you want? Good point. All right? Yeah. All right, Russell. Stop thinking right. with your love muscle, Bubba. All right? <laughs> okay. Thanks. Thanks man. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Let's go to uh, line three and talk to Alex, who's 22. Hey, Alex, you're Kazan City. How can we help uh, you? Hi, Mo. Hi. Oh, you're a girl. Um. Yeah. So... Yeah. Um, you got my question there already? <laughs> no, I don't. Ah, okay. uh, staffed it, but if you don't mind telling me, what's up? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. So, um, I just wanted to ask what would the intention be with this guy? Um, I've been dating this guy for like a year already since last year. Um, well, he told me that it's very sixty dating, and then, um, um, well, as far as I know, Yes, we're really dating, but it's like been a year. But it's weird because for in a week, he'll, he'll be texting me for like three times a week. And then he'll, he's going to ask me out around 9 p.m., which is weird. Um, He'll ask if it, if I'm okay to go out around 9 p.m. And he yep. knows that I can because I have very few, although I'm 22 already. And he knows I can't go out that time. Pero he still keeps on assisting those kind of um, invites. It, sure. it continued until until today. He's still asking me out ng ganong time. And I'm wondering what would the intention be if, well, his friends tells me na he's really into me and ganon din sa kanya. Pero parang the way he acts, parang hindi kasi... And that's weird. I just wanted to know what are the yeah, possible uh, intentions. Well, well, well <clears throat> I think everybody listening to the show right now knows what's going on. But, but let's just try to confirm some of this stuff. Are you guys having sex? Uh, no. I okay. never had. Never and had sex. Okay. okay. And he just kind of 
wants to meet up with you at 9 p.m. at all times. Is he really, is he really, really busy at work? I mean, uh, do, do you, well, yes, he speaks there, but work. Uh, no, but normally. is he very busy at work, where he only has time at 9 p.m.? Uh, again, I'm sorry. Uh, is he very busy at work, where his only free time is after 9 p.m.? Um, I think so, because um, he's a coach somewhere. <laughs> he's a coach somewhere, and um, he has work during the day, and then after his work during the day, I mean the evening, he, he's a coach. Gotcha. Um, what is good? So the question is, everybody says he really likes you. Mm. Uh, he tells you he really likes you, but he hasn't committed to being your boyfriend. Um, well, yes. <laughs> and you're worried why he always wants to pick you up at 9 p.m. every time you guys go out. Mm. The 9 p.m. thing is... It's usually kind of like if most people, most people, even myself, uh, most people listening to the program would be like, okay, well, he just wants to have a, a, a little bit of a booty call. Mm -hmm. But if you have not slept with him and he knows that you're a virgin and that mm -hmm. you're not going to be doing this, which which I applaud you, by the way. Good for you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't want you to, to have sex with this guy until you guys are boyfriend, girlfriend, right. at least. Um, the, the fact that he's still interested in picking you up in those late hours makes me think that he's just really busy and that that's the time. Or he's got a girlfriend somewhere mm -hmm. and he kind of has to put her to, <laughs> Yeah, he's going to have to put her to sleep or something and then kind of go out with you. Uh, uh, but still, yeah. 9 p.m. is a little – it's still too early. You know, it's not booty call. Booty call levels are 11, midnight, <laughs> you know, 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. That's that's booty call level. That's I've got a girlfriend. i got to hide it from you. She goes to sleep and then I, then I can go out with you. So mm – -hmm. I just think maybe he's really, really busy. And he just hasn't had the chance to commit. I mean, because you say he works during the day and then he coaches at night. What is he coaching? Um, basketball team. Yeah, see, so he's got like, he's got responsibilities that he likes having. And when he says he's really into you, he really likes you as, you know, as romantically, but, but relationships are not, a priority for him like you, you know it, it just kind of th there are people out there who are very very busy who very much into their career into their jobs and of course they have to have relationships but it's just not one of the top three things on their mind but you know even though they still have to have relationships, you know every now and then they'll make an effort to go out to date to court somebody to to talk to somebody but it's not in the same level as say you are maybe where relationships are more important to you than your work I, I don't know what, what, what it is for you, but it just seems like a guy who's working during the day and most of us are tired after work, he still coaches at night. I mean, he's really involved in his activities and he prioritizes that. And love might be the third or fourth thing down the line. So he's not going to commit to a relationship because he's got all of these other priorities that take up a lot of his attention. But he does really, in fact, like you. He likes you a lot. But you're not his entire world. Cause then that, and that kind of that's what I'm leaning towards here. Um, when you started off the call and you say he only picks me up at nighttime, he wants to see at night. All of us are leaning towards Abapucha booty call. But if you're not if you're not having sex with him, and 9 a.m. is still a little too early, it might be in fact he is just swamped, and he does like you. He doesn't like you as much as you want him to like you. Mm -hmm. You get okay. what I mean? So I'm getting the picture. Yeah. So so I I, I think again in in summary, he, he likes you. He's just not you're not you're not his entire world. Mm. And maybe you've had other boyfriends, or maybe you had other guys who like who made you the super pinaka priority. This is just not one of those guys. Uh, He's so he involved. Never in had a boyfriend, so I was really thinking about this one. Ah, okay. Well, if you've never had a boyfriend, then this is uh. This is a good start, actually, if, if it ever comes around, because then, you know, you can go slow. I think this guy's going to go slow as well. You know, with, with all the things going on in his life, he's not going to be a controlling boyfriend that's going to be all over you, you know, 24 hours a day. He has his own life. He's an individual. He's independent. And the fact that he does uh, nice things for you, like pick you up at work, he's able to squeeze all of that in his very busy schedule. That's the, this is probably a, a, a nice candidate for, uh, for a first boyfriend. Because he's just not going to be overwhelming and overbearing. Mm -hmm. 
And then you can kind of see what it's like to support somebody through their times, and then he'll support you with, with your time. But, in, at, at, you know, at the same time, you can still be the individual that you are and do your own thing. So th- this, this might be a nice little setup if you are, in fact, going to ever materialize this relationship. Okay. So, right. um, your suggestion is just to take it slow. Yeah, yeah, just, or, or you can, you know, you can even have a conversation with them. Okay. Like, hey, you know, we hang out a lot. People say you like me, and I kind of like you too, but what are we going to do? I mean, I know you're very busy, and I don't want to get, I don't want to get in the middle of all of your work and your coaching. Do you, do you want to just kind of exclusively date, but we don't have to see each other every day? I mean, whether once a week, twice a week, I say, you know, we have schedules to, to do, you know, I mean, it could be something like that. But you, you can definitely talk to him about it if he talks to you about it. Like, if he opens up to you that he likes you, then really have the conversation. Go, you know, I've never had a boyfriend, so I want to I wanna know, like, what you want to do about this. Mm-hmm. All right? All right. And All right. then uh, one last trivia move. I think you know him. <laughs> I, oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, like, how do I know him? And, you know, his friends and all that. Uh, not know as friends, as friends, but um, you know them. I know. <laughs> Ah, like in what? How like how do I know them? Like, what's his team? Well, um, can I talk about it off air? <laughs> uh, yeah, pu- I'll put you on hold, and then we can. Do- when we go to commercial break, just stay on hold. When we go on commercial break, I'll okay. um, I'll, I'll I'll put you back on during the commercials, and and I'll tell you if he's a fucking douchebag or a, or a good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, baby, hold on. We'll put you back on. I think you know him. His name's Pico. And I think, you know, he's really so pressuring me about my back. Who do we got on five? Uh, we don't have anyone yet on five. You haven't oh, picked anyone. Oh, we have so many calls on five. I'm sorry? You haven't picked anyone yet from five. Oh, I haven't picked anyone yet. Oh, okay. Why don't we go to the uh, South Korea caller who's uh, 24 years old, Caleb. Uh-huh. But All maybe right. we, can, we can do this. Wait, how many people have we spoken to? We've spoken to two people. Okay, yep. good. You're going to mm-hmm. take a commercial break. All right. When we come back, we'll talk to someone from South Korea as well as uh, all the uh, – just we got a ton of calls tonight. Just me and you guys, no Bianca, on this Monday night. It's Good Times to Roll the Podcast, Season 3, brought to you by Globe. Phone number 478-7954. Skype, the Good Times Podcast. You can text us, 0927-214-1981. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. What's your status? Everything looks great, HQ. CDCP looks fine. Remember, your powers come from the signal feeds from cell towers, so make sure you stay within reach. I'll be fine, HQ. There are more than 7,000 globe cell sites scattered across country. See? I see one right there. (sighs) What's the problem over there? I'll go check it out. Be careful, Agent CT. If you need any assistance... HQ. Agent... It's you, do you read me? Respond, Agent C. Do you copy? What's your status? Do you copy? You will copy. It's you. Where am I? There seems to be no signal that we're at this village. My signal senses are tingling. What to do? What to do? Aha! I know! Agency! Oh yeah. I forgot. I don't have powers here. Normal citizen! 
Secure permission. Secure permission. To the homeowners association meeting. Homeowners Association Office. Excuse me. Okay, on to other issues. Um, cell phone signals. We're here to answer questions. Oh great, just the proper form. Let's go. We finalized today. Any more concerns? Uh, yes. Good afternoon all. On cell sites, we need to set up a cell site within this village. Your laptops, your cell phones, your tablets, they feed on signal for them to work. You see, it does not even have to look like a cell site. It just has to look like it belongs. But what about the health risks? Fear not. Several studies show that the radio frequency signals used by these cell sites do not affect your health. It's just like the frequency used by baby monitors, AM and FM radios, your Wi-Fi, completely harmless. Think about it. That's exactly what we need. Without wireless communication, how will you stay updated? How will you talk to your loved ones who are abroad? Yeah. How will you remind your kids to take care and to come home early? That's right. We need a cell site. I agree! I want to call my father now. Yeah! That's exactly what we need! Thank you! Thank you! No, thank you, random citizen. I want a cell site right now! I agree! Super Agent CD! See? True power lies within each citizen. Signal connects us. Together, we will make more villages a more comfortable place to live in. I guess my mission here is done. Oh, great. We thought we lost you, Agent CT. That's Super Agent CT now! One cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and, and the dick on Nicole's head. So we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eigenmans? I would. <laughs> Cis code. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cis code. Uh, truth or dare. Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. Says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here, it is Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season three, brought to you by Globe. Our phone number 478 7954, Skype, the Good Times Podcast. You can even text us at 0927 214 1981. Got a lot of calls to get to, so we will uh, do it here. Uh, Bianca will be on the program tomorrow, so just me and you guys tonight. On Wednesday, we have Catalano. Thursday, Susie, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yep. And then Friday, I think we might have we're going to have Chopper. So, eh, you know, the usual suspects uh, on the program this week. Let's talk to Caleb, who's in South Korea. Caleb, you're 24. Welcome to the program, man. What's up? Yeah. Hi. Hi, Caleb. Uh, Thanks I for just, being here, man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I just want to ask Mo if is that normal? Because what normal? My, most, 
Um, I have no idea what the, you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it goes like this. Um, because most of my exes are Tisai, and mm-hmm. they are Mestiza, white sure. and skin tone. Yeah, and but their vagina color doesn't match their skin tone. Like, uh, like what do you mean? Like they're darker, lighter, yeah, green, yeah. darker, purple, darker. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. And then? Uh, parang na na ano lang ako kasi yung puti naman nila, tisay naman sila. But then again, their vagina is not, you know. Yeah, it's not tisay also. Their vagina, yeah. their vagina is not tisay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Morena vagina, pero limba. Uh, okay, so uh, you want to know what, what's up with morena. that? Yeah. Yeah, you want to know what's up with this? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Does it does it bother you? Like, does it turn you off? Does your dick not as hard because uh, it's darker? Oh, actually, it doesn't turn me off at all. But I'm just kind of wondering why. Sure. Well, um, y- usually the genitals uh, are darker anyway than um, other parts of the body because of the amount of friction that uh, that area gets, especially for guys, because guys are always holding mm. their dick. I mean, guys are always yeah. jacking off. So look at your own <laughs> dick; it's darker, right, than the rest of your yeah, you know, yeah, the rest of your skin. It's just that's just the way it is. So I mean, you, you're you're gonna see those areas that whether it gr- whether she grinds her vagina uh, against her clothing a lot, and and you know that tends to darken it. Whether she touches it a lot, has sex a lot. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it could be for a variety of reasons. But also the thing is, when you're defining what the sai is. Sometimes it's so, it's so different from what other people say. Uh, how do I say this? What uh. they say is for one, it could be completely different for another. Like, if uh, the girlfriends okay. that I've had that are tisai, my, like my my, I guess definition for tisai is like half, um, I guess of Western, maybe you know Caucasian, the type of. Yeah, yeah. If you're half something, then generally you don't see the darker. Uh, vagina in that. Then if you see yung maputilang na mm-hmm. pinay, which um, you know, again, I, I've I've been with, then they'll yeah they'll have a darker vagina, but they're not really they're not tisay tisay. You know, they're they're just mapute. So are they yeah. tisay as in like you know half Australian or half well, Canadian, no, half absolutely. no they're okay pure. so yeah. they're pure pinay. Well, yeah, well then I think that's normal. I I I think that the the darker vagina compared to the to the uh, skin tone is normal uh I, again oh. you know I, i've had filipino uh girlfriends of pure filipina na, ma, na ma pute, and it's uh. just as it's just the same thing i mean it's just a little bit darker just like your darker penis and yeah. uh i mean it, it is what it is mm-hmm. now I, I again i've t- i tend to see that with the tisai tisai ones then you don't get uh that much of a darker um i guess what complexion in, yeah, in the yeah. vagina area, and and I'm assuming that 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 holds true for the penis as well. Like if you're truly design a guy, hindi talaga yeah. maitim yung titi mo. It's oh. just when you're pinoy na ma, medyo mapute. Oh, ma, umiitim talaga titi. That's just the way it is. Mm-hmm. In right? the, uh, yeah, but actually, I had like three or four design. They are all the same. Again, are they decide na na half? Uh, pure, uh, decide pure. Or, they are pure. Okay, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. so the thing is, then that's not decide. That's just my mm-hmm. it, it it really is kind of hard to define sometimes, and maybe I'm wrong with my definition. And maybe nope. anybody who's mapote is tisay. I mean, if you go all the way back down to, oh, okay, the reason why mapote is because, you know, may halong Spanish. Oh, yeah? Half Spanish? Hindi. But what yung lolong, 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 yeah, Spanish? I'm like, okay, well, then, you know, then all of a sudden you're kind of, you're almost out breeding out the tisay part. Yeah. And the tisoy part. So, so that's the thing. It's like, it's hard to, it's hard to get on the same page. Just because they're mapote doesn't mean that you can kind of still define. Yeah. It as tisai. Tisai would be like, you know, Ann Curtis is tisai. But if you say yeah. is, um, you know, Christine Reyes is medyo mapote, is she tisai? I would say no. I mean, she's, she looks to me, she's Filipino. So you, yeah. you have to kind of define it properly. Then if you really want to get down to why is their vagina darker? I think <laughs> the, the more Filipino that you are, the darker that it's just going to generally be. Boy and girl. Mm-hmm. Because we're yeah. brown. Does she okay. shave? Does she shave a lot? Oh, yeah. That's another. Mm. Does she shave? Um, 
uh, the two shade, but the other yeah. two don't. Yeah, well, but it's, it's just, just it's the normal. same. Yeah, yeah, it's normal. That that's fine. Okay. You're fine. Okay. It's always gonna and, be that way. Mm, nakakawala lang kasi ng excitement kasi di ba? Um, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hindi. I mean, in a way na, siempre. Uh, halimbawa, first time yung mag may make love, and then you saw her vaginates, you know. Yeah, it doesn't uh, Caleb, turn me off at all. It, well, it, you just said that it bothers you, and then now it doesn't bother you. It shouldn't bother you, Caleb, because that's the way it really is. I mean, in the end, mm. like, I'm pretty sure if you gave me your photo, I could knock off 10 to 15 things that I don't like about the way you look. Okay. I'm guaranteed. Yeah, I, like right now, I, I should I even dare you? Send me a photo of you. I can break it down where I'm gonna go. That's fucking awful. That's awful. That's awful. That's, oh, awful. Yeah, yeah. That's awful. Yeah. Right? So why do that? Yeah. If these girls, these girls, if these girls are hot and and you th- you're attracted to them and they love you and you like them or whatever, maybe it's casual, but they're good looking. Whatever. I mean, like, why, why, why the minor details? I mean, like, is is their vagina like? dark chocolate and then the rest of it is not and it's driving you crazy or is it just a little bit of discoloration that is driving you not i mean like she's naked and next to you man like yeah you should well you should be happy i guess yeah if it smells bad different story but if it's slightly discolored from the rest of their body whatever yeah yeah, if Elena Darno was there and she had a dark vagina, would you not have yeah. sex with her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, who cares, right? Absolutely not. See? See? Right, who cares? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right. Bye. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Jesus. And Ange is like, he's not even bulky. <laughs> Ange is like, you have a photo of him, Ange? Yeah, his Skype has a photo. He's not he's even bulky. Not Choose. medyo pang. He's pangit. Choosy pa. Choosy pa. Choosy pa. Choosy pa. Choosy pa. <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers, man. <laughs> no, but that's the thing. It's like, I know so many people who say, parang ganda ng chicks ko, parang tisay. And I'm like, oh yeah, let me see. Puti <laughs> na. <laughs> that's gluta. That's not tisay. What are you talking about? <laughs> but then, and then all of a sudden, it's like, pero may itim nga caps niya. I'm like, oh, what do you expect? Siya may itim lahat. Jeez, people. Come on now. Um. All right. <laughs> Let's... Anyway. <laughs> remember, remember when Mocha was here yeah, on the program, no. yeah. and the guy that called, yeah. it's like, Pink by nipples mo. Pink by nipples mo. <laughs> Mocha's like, hindi. Ay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I'd, like, oh, I'd, I'd have a problem if they were pink. Imagine if Mocha had pink nipples, and yeah, that, that, that would, would look weird. gross. <laughs> Jesus, people, get over it. Come on. God damn. All right, um, let's go to, who do we have here? Line six? Yeah, Den Den, Den you're up. Uh, Den Den, you're 18 in Manila. How can I help you? Oh, yeah, because I, I like this guy, and I don't know if he likes me yet. And it's super annoying now, because he's super unpredictable. And like that, the song na Holy Girl, you know, one day you're here, one day you're there, one day you care, you're so unfair. And, oh, and then, yeah, sometimes I say, he's super under to other girls. Can you sing it? So, sobrang labo. Pero, I do say, kasi, I don't know if lang talaga, assuming lang talaga, or what. Pero kasi, yung friends ko, they keep telling me na, uy, bakit kayo? Uy, parang kayo. And then, yun. Tapos, hindi kasi siya nagsasun ng signs. And, minsan kasi, feeling ko, napapal na ako, kakasar yung friends namin sa amin. So, yes. Yeah, sobrang complicated. Uh, I don't know if I miss being a teenager or I'm glad I'm not stupid like one. I mean, I miss I miss like the the less responsibilities of the teenage years. But uh, I wonder if I was ever this dumb, like when I was a teenager, of, of how like life works. I'm, I'm not calling you dumb per se. I'm just saying that the teenagers generally are, are yeah. kind of stupid, right? Uh, okay, so so listen to yourself, then then. I think I'm falling in love with him because of how my friends tease us. Really? You're falling in love with someone because your friends tease you? I, 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 I think I'm falling in love with this guy because he disappears half of the time. Really? You like somebody? You're in love with someone who disappears on you half of the time? Like, do you, do you ever sit there and kind of analyze some of the shit that comes out of your teenage mouth? Not, not you again. I don't. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to sound like I'm, ma- I'm getting you mad. I'm, ma- you know, I'm being mad at you because I'm not mad at you, love. I, I think that this is normal behavior for teenagers. But if you sit there and you think about it and you go, I think I'm in love with a guy who neglects me. 
I think I'm in love with a guy because all of my friends are teasing us about each other. It's a weird. It's like this. It started because when I started comforting him, when no one breaks, so no ex, nya. And then, parang I was there for him, so parang get it. Super nakakadalak lang. You wanted to comfort him, or comfort him? No, because he asked. Eh, so I was like, okay, so, fine. I'm I'm the good friend, cause eh. Oh, this is horseshit. Den, den, come on, stop. Den, den, den. You've liked this guy for a long time. You're not going to just comfort him because he asked you to because you're that kind of friend. And then, oh, Himala, you're in love with him. I mean, come on, Den, Den. Either you watch way too fucking many movies or you're lying to yourself. It might be the movies because you're giving me lyrics. It's like the song. Here are the lyrics. Sometimes you're there. Sometimes you're not. Sometimes you care. I mean, come on. This is real life. Then then do me a favor. If you're in love with this guy or if you like this guy, you can just tell him. Hey, you know, you're the girl that comforted him. Yeah. My thing is, my thing is, uh, uh, sorry, continue. What? sweet day. And then sometimes like cake or ganon, pero sometimes cold siya, so super annoying lang. Na I can read him talaga kasi super hard. Yeah. Ah, uh, you know, listen, it. I need to talk to these people. These, the, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm watching a teenage uh, high school movie, but it is what it is. I mean, these are teenagers. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, then, then, do me a favor, sweetheart. Huh? Think about... Again, again. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to think about it. Think about be liking a guy who just at times pretends you're not around and he don't exist or he doesn't care and he's never there and he's never everywhere or whatever fucking lyric that is. Think about, think about why would you like someone like that? Yes, he's super sweet, but there are a lot of guys who are super sweet. Why like a guy who just kind of disappears on you? Wait, I ditched a guy because of him then. So, so? parang natuloy tuloy na get. Parang I came from an anything with another guy, so? and then dumating siya because I pagbreaking ex niya, and then I was like comfort, comfort, and then there, there natuloy tuloy na. So your shitty girlfriend? No. <laughs> yes. Your huh? shit girlfriend is what you're. You're 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 a crappy girlfriend. Because you you left your boyfriend so you could comfort your friend who you want to fuck at the same time. Uh, I don't know. I can't answer that. It's yeah. complicated. Trust. All right. Oh god, you you irritate me. All right. Then then do me a favor. Uh, have sex with this guy, um, and uh, enjoy your time with him, and then move on to the next one. All right, baby. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thank, you. Rock on. Thank you. Bye-bye. Ugh. And sh- th- at any time in your life did you sound like that when you were 16? No, I never quoted the song, you know. Come on, and sh- don't lie to me. Sometimes you're here, sometimes you're there, know. sometimes you're everywhere, Chos. <laughs> Come on, Chos. Chos, Chos, yeah. Come on. You tell me you were like that when you were 15, 16. Or mga please. 14 ganun, when I was in high school. Parang everything's gets so yeah ang ganyan gets yeah. mo gets yeah, mga songs pag narinig mo tungkol sa oh my gosh yeah it's for me oh, yun, 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 that's my song sabang nabang gets mo yung Adele na yan that's for me yeah that's my song yung yung kay Miley yung kay Miley akin yan yeah yeah that's my song just 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 lang just lang push fuck I hate fucking teenagers Don, <coughs> you're on line five. Hi, Don. Yeah, hello. Hi, Don. Hello. You're 24 and you are yeah. in Quezon City. How can I help you, sir? Uh, I think I'm still in love with my ex friend. <laughs> oh, shit. You know what, uh, Don? I could barely hear you, buddy. Can you do me a favor. Can you, can you get closer to that microphone or it sounds a little hello? distant? All right. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Better. You think you're falling yeah. in love with what? No. I think I'm still in love with my ex friend. It's been 11 years. Who? The thing, yeah. <laughs> well, Hello? Uh, are you, yeah. yeah, are you in love with your, I mean, it's okay. You, you think you're in love with your best friend from 
your ex best friend from 11 years ago. But is yeah. it something that you still talk to him or you haven't spoken to him in 11 years and you're still in love with him? Well, we hindi kami nag-usap for a while, or like five years. Parang kasi we're in the same tropa. Then, uh, 2009, umalis ako sa tropa kasi may nakaaway ako. Then, natong January lang ulit ako bumalik. Then, ah, ayun. okay. So you've seen him again. All right. It's not. Yeah. It's not like you're in love with him from 11 years ago or from five years no, ago. No, no, no. Nakikita. Nakikita mo man. You, you still see him and you talk to him. Well, nung nag-call ako nung nung high school pa, nung third, second year high school. Sinabi ko sa kanya, then things become awkward. Ganyan, became awkward. So, ayun, hindi na kami nag-uusap since then. Kahit nasa isang tropa pa rin kami nagkita, hindi na kami nag-uusap. So, nung nawala so is, ako, hindi, hindi kami nag-uusap. Tapos, nung is this person ako, a boy? Yes. Ah, so, okay. So, is he gay? Yes. <laughs> oh, he's gay also? Yeah. Ah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Continue. Uh, then, uh, bumalik ako sa group na last January. Then, sobrang nakikipag-close na ulit siya sa akin. As in, tumatabi na siya sa akin ulit. Ganyan. Then, for the yung two weeks na yon, simula na bumalik ako sa group, uh, magka-text kami araw-araw. Ganyan. So you're falling then, in love with him again because of that. Hindi ko alam eh. Parang parang revive I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Uh Kasi parang yeah. finish business ganun. Well, not really. I mean, you don't really have to finish this business. You know, liking somebody or falling in love with a friend or whatever, that that could last for a long time and it's not unfinished because you told him, he said no. Finished. It doesn't I mean he can still hang out with you, he could still be your friend. He could still be your very, very good friend. But you know, you've already told him there's no unfinished business there. It's just you still like him a lot. And that's normal. You can talk to him about it again five years later. I mean you haven't you you could say yeah. that uh I mean what's up nang serious stuff. As in I own young my book up about serious stuff. And I had a home over now. I move on now. Pero uh, last year, I had sex with two guys. Tapos nakita ko yung face na. Tapos parang what the fuck. Yeah, so, I mean, you're, you just re- you feel really strongly about him. And, you know, it's not going to help that you're hanging out with him all- also. You're just going to kind of be there in love with this guy. And that's fine. I, I, you know, if, if you can still hang out with him and treat him as a friend and not be overwhelmed by your emotions... I suggest you do it because at least you get to spend time with him still. Like, you know, there, there are a lot of people I think that I like that I know I'll never be with, but I don't mind hanging out with him still. Well, like, actually, kaya naman. Kaya, kaya kong gawin yun. Yeah, nagagawa ko naman eh. Ang kaso nga lang, pag tinutokso kami nung friends namin, lumalayo siya. Tapos parang, ano ba? <laughs> Then just tell everybody, ha, ah, guys, that was in the past. Five years ago na yun. Don't worry. I've moved on. Just just lie about it. You you can lie about it because obviously he doesn't like you in that romantic way, but he really likes you in other ways, in, in being a friend and hanging out with you. He probably thinks you're funny or you're smart or you're this. or You know, he 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 just likes being around you but doesn't want to be romantically involved with you. So don't egg it on. Don't make it worse. Or if somebody teases you, just go, guys, hello, five years ago na yon. Hello, na, medyo tumatanda na ako. You know, you can kind of just oh, say yeah. that was something you did when you were a kid. Do you think I'm still in love with him? Yes, I absolutely do st- think you're in love with him. But so what? You could still ah. hang out. Oh, yeah. All right? You could yeah. still hang out. You could still be his friend. And don't let it bother you, man. Don't, don't be like this last teenager who called and said, oh, my God, I can't, I can't <laughs> function properly. He's just a really good person to be around, okay? And you never know. It might, it might blossom at one point. You never know. All right? All right. Thanks for the call, Don. Appreciate it. Have a good one. Let's take a break. When we come back, more of your calls. 478-7954. Skype, The Good Times Podcast. You can even text us. 0927-214-1981. 
It's good times with more the podcast season three, brought to you by Globe. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. One thing I really love about music is I get to jam with so many different people. Collaboration comes naturally with musicians. Music should never be a limit or a barrier. It's a bridge. When Yolanda struck, I knew I needed to offer my talents and pitch in. So together with my team, we came up with this idea to do something wonderful for our country. What better way to sort of help out in our own way? We thought of the idea of Unwrap Hope, getting new toys. After a certain date, we bring it all to our mall. Excited, but I don't really know what to expect. I just saw one whole, one whole area, one whole cargo area full of toys, boxes and boxes of toys. So I am playing Santa Claus. That's what's happening here. I was just really excited just to get out there, seeing all the kids line up. They're very organized, and it was just really cute. But I just wanted to go out and. and they go, just get, get in, they get in the mix. May gift kami para sa inyo. May mga toys kami para sa mga kids. Sino may gusto ng toys? Yay! Mga kaibigan at mga kapatid namin sa Globe, noon pa man hindi nyo kami iniwanan. Alam ko na babangon uli yung mga Ormocanon. Alam ko na babangon uli ang mga Litenyo. Alam ko na babangon uli sigaw at kalinga. But when you're playing the children, I compare it to singing in front of family. It just, it's just an honest thing. They sing along and they scream along and they dance along and I love that. That morning when we come on the 21st, that's probably the same feeling we would get on when we were kids, you know, 25th morning on Christmas Day. So we're bringing them an early Christmas gift. It goes both ways. That's what the season's all about. It's about, about giving back at this point, right? And uh, what more can I ask for when I do that? You know, when you're supposed to create something different or something special, then you're supposed to just let go, right? You just let go and let it happen. Right? And whatever it takes you, it's not about you anymore. It's, it's something else that's what inhabits you. You were able to create something bigger and better and special. It's a wonderful world with Globe. Please visit www.projectwonderful.ph to learn more. Um, two girls, one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our toppings from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> The show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eichenmanns? I would. <laughs> Cisco. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cisco. Uh, truth or dare? Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. What do you think is ailing local football? Well, politics. Should athletes be endorsers? Yes, why not? Why did you refuse to be the Haskell's head coach countless times? I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, uh, we talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you've worked also somewhere in other countries as well. 
Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Why do you say thank you? Well, you're only as good as the wins. And then that's it. Uh... Plus, of course, there are other factors like uh, disrespect, honor, honesty, and all of this. Because you're just a coach, you're not a manager. Uh, you're not the association, you're not the institution. So you, as a coach, you're just an employee. So you're as good only as, as the wins that you have. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And... Like a double blowjob! Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro. Vagina? Vaginas? And you're jacking off really intensely but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. It's me, Tita K. Tita K. Come and hang out on Live Love Laws. Let's talk about makeup, beauty. Hi, Ganda. Who's that? We can talk about ugly too. Nah, no, just kidding. And of course, Donya problems galore. Yeah, yeah. I'm special. Okay, on. Fashion, shopping. Oh my God, shopping! I love shopping. Ah, food. We gotta talk about food. Anything and everything on cyberspace. Let's buy everything. We can talk about glamour and ubusan nang glamour. We fly Wednesday 6 to 7 p.m. only on nmfnetwork.tv. What's your status? Everything looks great, HQ. CDCP looks fine. Remember, your powers come from the signal feeds from cell towers, so make sure you stay within reach. I'll be fine, HQ. There are more than 7,000 globe cell sites scattered across country. See? I see one right there. <sighs> What's the problem over there? I'll go check it out. Be careful, Agent CT. If you need any assistance... HQ. Agent. H HQ, do you read me? Respond, agency. Do you copy? What's your status? Do you copy? Do you copy? Status. Where am I? There seems to be no signal tower in this village. 
My signal senses are tingling. What to do? What to do? Aha! I know! Agency! Oh, yeah. I forgot. I don't have powers here. Normal citizen! Normal citizen! Secure permission. Secure permission! To the Homeowners Association meeting. Homeowners Association office. Excuse me. Okay, on to other issues. Um, cell phone signals. We're here to answer questions. Oh, great. Just the proper form. Let's go. We finalized today. Any more concerns? Uh, yes. Good afternoon, all. On cell sites, we need to set up a cell site within this village. Your laptops, your cell phones, your tablets, they feed on signal for them to work. You see, it does not even have to look like a cell site. It just has to look like it belongs. Oh. But what about the health risks? Yeah, Fear not. Several studies show that the radio frequency signals used by these cell sites do not affect your health. It's just like the frequency used by baby monitors, AM and FM radios, your Wi-Fi. Completely harmless. Think about it. That's exactly what Without wireless communication, how will you stay updated? How will you talk to your loved ones who are abroad? Yeah. How will you remind your kids to take care and to come home early? That's right. We need a cell site. No, thank you, random citizen. I want a cell site right now! I agree! Super Agent CD! See? True power lies within each citizen. Signal connects us. Together, we will make more villages a more comfortable place to live in. I guess my mission here is done. Oh, great. We thought we lost you, Agent CT. That's Super Agent CT now! Um, two girls, one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our topics from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eigenmans? I would. <laughs> Cis code. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written Cis code. Uh, truth or dare. Kupal people. Bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. What do you think is ailing local football? Well, politics. Should athletes be endorsers? Yes, why not? Why did you refuse to be the Haskell's head coach countless times? <laughs> I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, uh, we talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you've worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, 
there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Why do you say thank us? Well, you're only as good as the wins. And then that's it. Uh, Plus, of course, there are other factors like uh, disrespect, honor, honesty, and all of this. Because you're just a coach, you're not a manager. Uh, you're not the association, you're not the institution. So you, as a coach, you're just an employee. So you're as good only as, as the wins that you have. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, that show! It's that show, buddy. Friend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the podcast here. It is Good Times and all the podcast, season three, brought to you by Globe. Uh, quick announcement for Globe, by the way. I've been hearing a lot about, uh, well, rants about knockout load. Good thing Globe does more to protect our load credits. They can provide real-time updates on uh, load balance. Just visit globe.com.ph slash prepaid for more details. Be updated and worry-free. So thank you very much, Globe, for being part of this. 478-7954, Skype, The Good Times Podcast. You can text us here at 1981 A shorter show tonight since it's just uh, myself and you guys. Bianca will be back tomorrow, so don't worry uh, there if you're uh, looking for uh, Bianca. Wednesday, we have Kat Alano. Thursday, Susie. And I believe on Friday, we have Angela Copper. I have to find out, though, if she's going to make the trip uh, over here to the studio for that. All right, let's get to... Uh, let's talk to Jao, who's on line five. Hey, Jao. Hey. We tried getting you earlier, but you got Hello. cut off. What's up, buddy? You're uh, 18. Yeah, I'm 18. You're in Las Pinas. How can we help you, man? Um, I have a girlfriend for two years now. Yeah. And then uh, we broke up like, yep. uh, like last December. Then after noon, um, after a few weeks, we kami ulit. Tapos after noon, um, at first, okay naman. Pero habang, habang tumatagal, like, there's no most there's no more spark every time we do it. Parang casual sex na lang. Hindi na wala nang passion every time we do it. I don't know yeah, what. You guys, why'd you guys break up? Um kasi feeling naman um parang hindi na nag work out for us in relationship. Yeah, that's what, I think that's what it is. Uh, I mean, I, if your question is how do you spice up your sex life? Mm-hmm, is that mm-hmm. yeah, I, I don't think you spice up your sex life. I think your bodies your bodies are telling you that yeah, it's just not working out. This but relationship's feel, not working out. Yeah, but I can feel that parang I still love her. Yeah, you probably do, but it's not working out. Like the the thing when it comes to young people and when they want to mm-hmm. spice up their sex life, you guys are not forty years old, fifty years old, and married. You're usually your hormone, or sorry, your hormones will will kind of spice it up for you. And when you're eighteen and you're like, hey, how do I spice it up? It it really isn't. I I mean, in my opinion, it's not spicing it up anymore. What it is is your bodies are telling each other that that you guys are not. You guys are done. Mm-hmm. So I mean, b- I- believe me on this one, man. This is this is fucking. <coughs> I, I mean, this is an opinion show, but at the same time, I'm telling you, this is true. The reason why you guys are not passionate about each other sexually is because, eh, it's just whatever now. It, it's not a sex thing. It's a you guys thing. So we can't do anything about it? Parang wala nang pwede mangyari if, even if we both love each other pa? Well, I, I think your sex life will get better if your relationship gets better. But at the same time, being 18 and being together for two years... Mm-hmm. I think that this one has run its course. Mm-hmm. I agree. Like you guys, you guys are done already, and you can move to the next girlfriend, and she can move to the next boyfriend. Two years is a good amount of time. It's not too long. It's not too short. It's mm-hmm. just about right for people who are young. And then you know, okay. get into another, get another yeah, girlfriend, okay. date her for two years. You, mm-hmm. you get what I mean? The, 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 your bodies are just telling you that hey, we should have stayed broken up. Mm, okay. Believe me. <laughs> All right, thank you're you. You're still gonna get an erection, man. Of course, <laughs> I mean, why not? Shit, also, All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're still gonna you're still gonna have fun having sex. It's just it's not gonna be that <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, I get that passionate mm-hmm. thing that you're talking about. Mm-hmm. All right, Joe. Well, good All luck, right. my friend. All right, thank Thanks, you. Bro. Yeah, no worries. Bye bye. 
Let's go to Loiseric. Is that right? Is that how you pronounce your name? Loiseric? Loiseric. 18 years old in Manila? Yeah, I mean, that's short. Uh, the weird thing about having a weird name because a lot of people don't know how to pronounce it properly, although you got it. Yeah, well, listen, do me do me a favor, but are you on speakerphone or something? You sound really far away. Oh, uh, yeah, I uh, adjusted for a while. Yeah, thank you, when you're not too busy. A lot of teenagers calling the show tonight. Another 18-year-old here uh, from Manila. So I still am fucking up the pronunciation of your name, bud. So whenever we hear you clearly, please do correct me. Okay. Um, whenever you're ready. Hmm? Take me off speakerphone, please. Just go ahead and put the fucking thing in your face. God damn it, I hate all young people tonight. Jesus. Everybody young who's called the show. Jesus. Oi. <laughs> Oi. What the fuck? I, I can't believe I'm waiting on a kid half my age yeah. to shape up. Oi. Get five. Well, let's get, get, get somebody on line five first while we're waiting for this guy to fucking yeah. simply put his phone from speaker to his fucking face. Frank yes. five. Frank, line five. Uh, Frank, you're 31. There you go. More like it. 31, goddammit. Sorry. You're in Iloilo. Ilo. Yeah, we're calling him, but sorry, sorry. Oh, we, we lost him? All right. He said he's dating a girlfriend who has a boyfriend who's out of the country. Ooh. Yeah. Papa. Gonna get your ass kicked. We'll, we'll talk to Frank in a sec here. Frank? Hello, Frank? Hello. Hi. Hi, Mo. Good evening. Hey, what's up? Hey, Frank. Thanks for being on the show, man. You're 31. You're in Iloilo. How can we help you? Uh, yeah, I, I have this uh, uh, problem right now. Uh, I'm flam? dating a girl. Yeah, it up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, and? The boy. Uh, yeah, I told her I like her. And everything's, you know, it's okay. It's, everything's okay between us. But I don't know if... She likes me too. Uh, so you in, you in fact are not dating her. She has a boyfriend. How much time are you spending yeah. with her? I just a few weeks. couple weeks. I'm sorry? A couple of weeks. Ah, okay. So you've been hanging out with her for a couple we're, of weeks. We're, we're, she ha- we're. Where's her boyfriend? Abroad. Yeah, well, what, what country is abroad? Or if you don't want to say it, but Malayo is America or, you know, yeah, Middle East yeah. or abroad, US. like Taiwan abroad. U.S., okay. U.S. So what's the question? I don't know if... You don't know if what? Likes me to my plans. I don't know if she you likes me or, or what, or, or, or just hanging around. Yeah, so what, what's the question, though? I don't know if she likes you either. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I told her. I told her. I, I like her and everything. Actually, that... Yeah, but uh, what's your question for me? Thing between her. Yeah, I wonder if... Uh, here's the story. Uh, the relationship uh, with her boyfriend is uh, very complicated. Uh, she doesn't... Uh, she doesn't love us, according to her friend. Uh, she's just she's just using using him, you know, to to go to go out of the Philippines. So she's gonna get and married to this guy for a visa, and I you, guess. Do you like you, okay, you so you like a, you you would you like this girl because I mean, doesn't that show that she's of poor character. You get what I mean? Like a girl who's willing to give up her, like she's going to pretend to like someone. She's going to take that guy for a ride in the sense that she's going to make him believe that she loves him. He's going to propose marriage. They're going to get married. They're going to have sex. She might even get pregnant and all that. So she can get a visa. Yeah. Yeah. And you like yeah. a person who thinks that's a good idea? No. 
but I, uh, I like her. I yeah, mean, that's what I mean. You like a girl who thinks that that's a good idea for her to do. I think she's. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm telling you that she's not I a get good it. person. Yeah. And that okay. you're in a very complicated situation. Yes, you are. I mean, like, this girl's got a boyfriend, and she's going to leave the Philippines, and she's going to get married to this guy, because that's how she's going to get sponsored. So there's really right. minimal hope for you in this relationship. Unless you fall in love with her, she falls in love with you, she, uh, you know, she feels so great and passionate about you that she decides to stay in the Philippines because she wants to be around you. Then, you know, then that, that's better... That's a better situation for you to be in. But at the same time, you're still in love with a girl who still thinks it's a good idea to pretend to like someone else so they can marry her. Like, whether she does it or not, she still is kind of a shitty person to even attempt it. Okay. You know, so I would not, I would not advise you to date this girl. She doesn't seem like a good person. Even okay. if you guys like each other a lot. But it's up to you, man. I mean, like, fuck. I, I don't want to say she's awful because I don't know what life is like in Iloilo where she desperately needs to leave the Philippines. Next thing you know, she's poverty stricken and like she's starving and she wants, she just needs to do something extreme to get out of the country. Then I don't want to judge her so harshly. But if she's okay, okay naman, okay naman yung buhay, may bahay naman siya, you know, at gusto lang pumunta sa Amerika, so what she's gonna do is pretend to fall in love with an American and then do this and this and that and bring her here and then, you know, get married only to get a visa, then she, that, that means she's a bad individual. She's playing with people's feelings. All right? Good luck. I see. A broken family. She comes from what? A broken family? Yeah, you yeah, know, they're they're red and listen, they're 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 red flags there, Frank. And you should look at them. Right. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I don't want to I don't want to tell you to not talk to her anymore, but there are red flags, and those red flags are there for a reason. They're they're for you to go. Woo! Hey, look over here. There's something wrong with me. And then you assess it. Everybody's got red flags. Everyone has issues. A lot of people have come from broken families, but it's still not. This still doesn't mean that it didn't happen. These are red flags. You have a girl here who's pretending to like somebody who comes from a shitty upbringing. Let's assume that she comes from a shitty upbringing. Um, you know, she's making other people believe uh, false, uh, you know, emotions and this and that. And oh, it's just bad. Red flags everywhere. All right. Okay. All right, buddy. I am enlightened. Yeah. Choose wisely. Thanks, Mo. Yeah. No worries, man. Thanks for it. calling. Thanks for taking the time. We appreciate it. Have a good one. Bye bye. Yeah, that's the thing with the red flags, man. You don't necessarily have to run the other way when you see it. But you should, you know, tiptoe around to, on your way to that destination. Yeah, these, these are warning. Like, exactly. When you're driving on the... That's why these warning signs when you're driving on the street, they exist. It's like, okay, it says there, be careful. A deer might cross the street. I'm not necessarily meaning it is going to cross. But at least you know... That there's a chance a fucking family of deer are going to cross the street and you might crash. Or there's rocks that might fall. How many times have you seen a big boulder running down the mountain when you see, hey, guess what? There's rocks that fall. I've never seen one, but I can see them on top of the mountain about to fall. And I'm like, oh, fuck, I better drive past this. Yep. Now, if you park your car and go, hey, put on anything to my mom, but don't fucking cry when it comes rolling down, crushing you. Yeah, that's your fault. Shouldn't have parked by the fucking sign mm -hmm. that said there are rocks that are falling down. Red flag. Thanks, Pico. Mm -hmm. Thanks, man. Look at you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. All right. Uh, Kim on line five. Hi, Kim. Hello. What's up, baby? Hello. I'm Hi, good. Kim. Can you, you hear me? I'm great. You're 19. Another, another young one. You're from Makati. What's going on, love? Yeah. Nothing. I'm just staying here at my door, and I've got nothing to do. Yeah, what's up? All right. Well, talk to me, Kim. How can we? How can we make your life better? Did you see the video I sent, or no? Oh. No. I, no. Is it a sex tape of you? Can you see? No, something? it's not. Dang it! Damn! <laughs> Dang it! All right. Well, if you have one of those, you can send those over, please. We'd appreciate it. Yeah. Well, I don't. Okay. So Kate, Kate listen. I know you're hot because you call the show and you're like. 
All right. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. Hey, just send the video. Like, I, I do. I, we know you're attractive. I, no, I, I'm like, assuming you're attractive. No, I'm not. All right. Well, fuck. What do you want? <laughs> we're on the show. Let's go. God damn it. What, what's up? <laughs> okay. Um, what to do when your boyfriend, um, he just wants you to listen to all, all of his problems and then you just like go listen to him. And then when you try to fix the problem, he'd be like, oh, like you're not listening. You're trying to fix the problem or whatever. And then I'll just, all he wants to do is like listen. Like all he wants me to do is listen. When I, and when I try to fix it, he doesn't do like he gets mad or something. Yeah, he's just, he's just being a fucking dick. I mean, uh, he's just you seen the video. <laughs> Why was the video of him getting, of, of him getting angry? No, 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 it wasn't him. What video? Was What's the video, video about? I have no idea. I, I, I didn't see a video. It's not it. Can you go, like, to YouTube now? Oh, okay, no. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, though. Like, please explain to me what I want to go to YouTube. You know how many times you're hanging out with your friends? You know what? 90% of the time, nobody wants to watch it. I'm sorry? Like before, before I even chatted, like, before I even, like, chatted in Skype, I was like, can you please check the video because I can't really explain it. Okay, what am I looking at, though, when I see, look at the video? It's entitled, It's Not About the Nail. And then, and then oh, there's this girl, she's, she's like, she's just always complaining about her problems. Like she said that there's something in her head that's really disturbing. And then, there, and then his, her boyfriend was just like looking at her. There's like a huge nail stuck in her forehead. And, then, and the guy was like, I think it's because of the nail that's on your forehead. And then the, guy, and then the girl was saying that, oh, it's not, you're, you're just like, oh, you're not listening to me. You're all trying to fix the problem. You're not listening. And then... The guy just like keeps on listening and stuff, and the problem doesn't really get solved. I'm not watching. Okay, yeah, well, you know what? Okay, least, oh, God, yeah, man, uh, I'm huh? sorry. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's okay. But I know you're good looking, Kay, so it's fine. We're gonna let you pass because I can hear it in your voice that you're hot. All right, so your boyfriend doesn't, but your boyfriend just wants to rant. Uh, he wants you to sit there and absorb it, and then the moment you try to offer some sort of remedy, he gets pissed off at you. Yeah, he's just a dick. Yeah, he, he's just yeah. being a dick. I mean, yeah, he's just ranting. He just wants you to listen. And and it, it, it depends. Does it happen all the time, or does it just happen on occasion? Because if it happens all the time, then he's probably not a good guy uh, for you to grow with in this relationship. I mean, you, again, being fairly young. You want somebody yeah. who kind of values your opinion. You want somebody who thinks that you have good insights on, on certain things. If he, if it's every single issue, he doesn't want you to open your mouth, then you're going to struggle in this relationship. The mm -hmm. both of you are going to struggle, and he's a little bit of a dick. Yeah. If it's just every now and then, he just wants to rant about something, then so be it. Yeah, but if it's, if, it's, if it's a topic that you know something about, and he know, he understands that, then I suggest... You tell him, hey, asshole, like, I know about this stuff, too. I mean, why are you getting mad at me? I'm giving you my opinion because I know something about it. Like, if my favorite basketball team lost and I'm ranting to you about it and you don't care about sports, yeah, just listen. Don't, don't open your mouth because you might say something that's going to irritate me more. I get it if it's something like that. If I say, oh, fuck, man, the Lakers lost yesterday and fucking, you know, Kobe <laughs> missed 25 shots. And then you go, well, why, do, why doesn't Kobe like talk to the coach and tell him i'd be like shut up <laughs> you know <laughs> because that doesn't make sense to me but if i asked you something about say a class that you guys are both taking and i wanted to rant about maybe uh, uh something that's going on at work that you're also in the same field or you have at least some sort of experience and then i shut you up that makes me an asshole and i don't think that it's a this is something that is uh healthy for the both of you yeah this does he do that to you well, not really. Pico, did you want to sleep with these people? No, I'm just checking. Sure. Just okay. adding a follow-up question. Follow -up question. Yeah. So, so it, does it happen all the time or does it happen just on things that are frustrating it's for really, him? Really, really. That you have no idea. Things. Okay. Uh, That's cool. <laughs> you know, listen, I, uh, I, I, I would stand up for myself if I were you. I'd say, hey, why are you talking to me about these things when I give you a solution and you fucking get mad at me for it? Just, just yeah. straight up tell him what the what the fuck are you talking to me for then? Okay, it's like if I was really doing good. this if I was doing this show and people called the program and then they asked for advice and then I told them what I think is going on and then they go no fuck you Mo you're fucking stupid I'm like okay why the fuck are you here then? 
You know how many else people would want to talk to me? Why am I talking to you? I think you should take the same mentality. It's like, okay, listen, boyfriend asshole. Uh, you're talking to me about it. I am smart. I have experienced a little bit of it. But every time I give you an opinion, you fucking tell me you get mad at me. So fuck off. Then don't tell me. Okay, that's good. All right, baby? Uh-huh. All right, Kay. All right, Kay. And then don't, okay. don't have sex with him. Are you, you're, you're, obviously, you're having sex with him. <laughs> no. Stop having sex with him. See if he shakes okay. up. Okay. <laughs> he might respect you a little bit more. All right? All right. All right. Thanks, Kay. All right, bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. It's classic, uh, you know, wealthy, uh, you know, fucking idiot douchebag dating super hot chick only because she's hot. Just you know, sit there and don't and shut up. Yeah, yeah, sit there and shut up. Suck my dick when I need it to be sucked. Yeah, but shut aside up. from that, yeah. just pretend. Yeah. 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 Ah 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 Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. okay. I'm not so mad when I'm getting my dick sucked. Yeah. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, so we're out of here. Uh, when we come back, we'll find out who caller of the night is. That person wins mosh pit tickets. These are the best tickets available for the upcoming concert on the 16th. Macklemore and Ryan Lewis live at the Mall of Asia. Don't go away. Back after this. Stay t- 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 we'll return after this commercial break. One thing I really love about music is I get to jam with so many different people. Collaboration comes naturally with musicians. Music should never be a limit or a barrier. It's a bridge. When Yolanda struck, I knew I needed to offer my talents and pitch in. So together with my team, we came up with this idea to do something wonderful for our country. What better way to sort of help out in our own way? We thought of the idea of Unwrap Hope, getting new toys. After a certain date, we bring it all to our mall. Excited, but I don't really know what to expect. I just saw one whole, one whole area, one whole cargo area full of toys, boxes and boxes of toys. So I am playing Santa Claus. That's what's happening today. Yeah. I was just really excited just to get out there, seeing all the kids line up. They're very organized, and it was just really cute. But I just wanted to go out there and. Then they go just get get it they get in the mix may gift kami para sa inyo may mga toys kami para sa mga kids sino may gusto ng toys yay mga kaibigan at mga kapatid namin sa globe noon pa man hindi niyo kami iniwanan alam ko na babangon uli yung mga orbokanon alam ko na babangon uli ang mga litin nyo alam ko na babangon uli sigaw at kalinga when you're playing the children, I compare it to singing in front of family. It just, it's just an honest thing. They sing along and they scream along and they dance along. And I love that. That morning when we come the 21st, that's probably the same feeling we would get on when we were kids, you know, 25th morning on Christmas Day. So we're bringing them an early Christmas gift. It goes both ways. That's what the season's all about. It's about, about giving back at this point, Kiba. Right? And uh, what more can I ask for when I do that? But, you know, when you're supposed to create something different or something special, then you're supposed to just let go, right? You just let go and let it happen, you know? And whatever it takes you, it's not about you anymore. It's, it's something else that's what inhabits you. You were able to create something bigger and better and special. It's a wonderful world with Globe. Please visit www.projectwonderful.ph to learn more. Um, two girls 
just one cup. I heard there was this video going around on the internet some years ago. Um, because we're two girls, me and Nicole, and a cup where we get all our toppings from the cup. It's not lustful. <laughs> the show is about shoes, bags, friends, girlfriends, gossip, current events, everyday life. I don't know. Dicks on my head, apparently. <laughs> and the dick on Nicole's head. Um, we got a segment called Let's Be Honest. Would you do whoever? Would you do Max Eichelmann? I would. <laughs> Cisco. Because there's a bro code, but there's no written sis code. Uh, truth or dare, kupal people, bullshit. We share pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Two girls, one cup. You should watch the show. What do you think is ailing local football? Well, politics. Should athletes be endorsers? Yes, why not? Why did you refuse to be the Ascal's head coach countless times? I've been there, done that. Too much politics, like I said. Uh, like I posted one time a few days ago, coaching is a thankless job. With what's happening with Michael Weiss, uh, we talked about it already before, uh, personally, one-on-one, -on -one, and I said, it happens. And I said, you should know that because you've worked also somewhere in other countries as well. Uh, there's no such thing as a permanent job in coaching, in any sport. Why do you say thankless? Well, you're only as good as the wins. And then let's say that. Plus, of course, there are other factors like uh, there's respect, honor, honesty, and all of this. Because you're just a coach, you're not a manager. Uh, you're not the association, you're not the institution. So you, as a coach, you're just an employee. So you're as good only as, as the wins that you have. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, all that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh, yeah, that show's cool. We talk about, oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina and like a double blow job. Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about, it's like when you get, Friend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here, Good Times with Mo, the podcast, season three, brought to you by Globe. Time to wrap it up. I want to thank all the people that called us. We got a lot of calls, and the ones we didn't get to, try again tomorrow when uh, Bianca is here. And we'll definitely get to it. Caller of the night. Man, it was tough. Not a lot of great calls tonight. I think... I think I'm going to go with the guy who called about his girlfriend's dark vagina. Just because I thought... I, I think that... Uh, well, I mean, it was, a, it, was a, it was an okay call. But it was more just... I thought it was an effective call to, to remind people, please, stop overreacting. Now, of course, there are extremes. Like, if she had a... A vagina that was look like milky white would be really weird. And if it was, you know, you know, petroleum crude oil dark, then of course that would look also very weird. But if it's none of those things, relax, everybody. She's fine. It's not like you're perfect either. Um, so I think it's Caleb. Congratulations. You're caller of the night. And uh, yeah, let's wrap it up. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for more of your calls here on the podcast. And uh, yeah. Thanks for being around. Thanks for downloading. Bye, everyone. Oops, this one. Good Times with Mo, the podcast season three, was brought to you by Glow. We'd like to thank you for your calls and invite you to check out our other podcast on the new media factory by logging on to nmftv.com.
Follow Good Times with Mo on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. Follow Mo at DJ Mo Twister. And don't forget to check out www.motwister.ph. See you next time. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised.